Hey guys, are you trying to start the computer from the pen drive and nothing is happening? Stick around, I'm Felipe from Spitfire FMR and today I'm going to show you how to start the computer from a pen drive. If you are trying to install Windows, I made a previous video on how to download and create a bootable USB pen drive. So I will leave the link on the description below. So guys, why the computer is not starting from the pen drive? I guess there's two options here. The first option is that the pen drive was not created properly. And the second option is that the BIOS is not configured in the proper way to start the computer from the pen drive. So some of you are going to ask, what's the BIOS? The BIOS is a small chip on the motherboard that identify, configure and test all the components. And if everything works properly, it's going to look for the bootloader. So what we want to do is to tell the BIOS that the bootloader is in this pen drive. For those of you that watched my previous video, if you remember well, on the partition scheme I said for all the computers, you need to put a MBR partition, while on newer computer you will have to use a GPT partition that comes for different BIOS modes. You could have Legacy on old computer and UEFI. And also, at the end of the video, there was a warning, a reminder that we must disable the secure boot to start from the pen drive. The secure boot is a feature from the UEFI BIOS mode that blocks malicious software such as rootkits to start before the antivirus. So in order to start from the pen drive, we must disable the secure boot. The EUFI BIOS mode also has a feature called CSM, that means Compatibility Support Module, so it will support also Legacy. It could support Legacy and UEFI. If you like to check which kind of BIOS mode you have and you're not sure and you already have a Windows computer running, this is the way you can check the BIOS mode. Perfect, now that we know the basics, I'm going to show you three easy ways to enter into the BIOS. Okay, the first option I'm going to show you is by pressing a key on the keyboard. Most of the times in my last 15 years working with computers, it's either by pressing delete or the F2 key. You press continuously until you enter into the BIOS. Some of the motherboard manufacturers, on the startup screen, it shows you which function key you must press to enter into the BIOS. As I said, in 90% of the cases I've been using computer, it's either delete or F2, but sometimes it could be escape, F8, F10. This really depends on the motherboard manufacturer. Even on some laptops, once I had to insert a pin inside of a hole. That was a bit tricky. I guess it was a Dell laptop, if I remember well, but that was a few years back. The issue with this method is that there is a feature in the BIOS called fast boot and if it's enabled, sometimes you don't press the key at the right moment and you just go through. So the timing of pressing the key is very important. You need to press very fast. The second method, if you have a computer with already Windows 8 or above, this is the way you can enter into the BIOS. Press start, settings, update and security, recovery, then we go to restart now, it's going to restart in this menu, troubleshoot, advanced options, UFI firmware setting, restart, and it's going to go straight into the BIOS. And the third method is a simplified version of the second method I show you. It's by holding the shift key and restarting the computer, like this. Perfect, and in here is the same, you hold the shift key, you press restart and you will get into the same menu than before. And then you restart again and you go straight into the BIOS settings. Okay, so here I have some screenshots of a Dell and a Aorus Gigabyte motherboard. You can see where you have the section to disable the secure boot. And here at hand I have a MSI motherboard. You can see the BIOS mode just here. And if you go into settings, boot, you have all the options here. Boot mode select, you can change, for example, to legacy UFI. And here below, you will have all the options that you can choose as bootable devices. So for me, 
I have my USB here with the first partition and you can select it there or if you prefer you can go up here and you're gonna drag the one you have usually they have a small U on top for UEFI and I will drop it at the first place and then you press F10 and enter and you can just uh, boot straight away from the pen drive otherwise if you go here in here will be the same as uh, enable or disable the secure boot in the CSM in here I have a an ASUS motherboard it's more or less the same in the boot option you can disable or enable the secure boot if you choose other OS it will be the same as disable the secure boot and uh, then you can go back and in the boot option number one you can choose the pen drive that we have also inserted in the computer and the same you press F10 and enter and it's gonna save the data and the settings that we chose and it's gonna reboot and go straight into the pen drive and this one will be with the Windows installation and here I have a very old uh, computer at the hand you can see is a kind of legacy BIOS mode but in this one you can choose both so I can go in advance and I will select the pen drive SanDisk Extreme F10 then you press the Y key and that's it and this is a very old motherboard so even older is a legacy BIOS and is the same uh, you will have to use the keyboard to navigate like on the previous window but this one does not support UEFI so this will be MBR partitions and in the boot section you need to tell the computer that the hard drive is actually the pen drive So we have the USB SanDisk Extreme to put it as first hard drive and then the same F10 and then those ones do not have a secure boot they are too old to have the option to have a secure boot so that's it guys I think uh, it is done for today if you have more questions just let me know in the comment section below and I will be more than happy to help you 